<laughs> for a living? Oh. oh, what did he do to me? He, uh, when he saw my camera, he reached for it, and when I backed up, he jumped out of his car and tackled me, and then I got away and into the, the uh, AM, PM, and then he stood there and screamed, I'm going to fucking kill you, and then he got in his truck and left, and then screamed it again as he was driving away. You know this guy? Yeah. He uh, drugged and raped my daughter, which is the part B of this complaint. How long ago was that? September 2014. Here, at that address I gave for him. Did your daughter take her, or did your daughter? Yeah, no, they, they um, hypno hypnotized her and convinced her that the way she had acted afterwards mm -hmm. meant that the police wouldn't take her seriously. So she should just kind of get over it. He didn't specifically. She. There were three of them, and it's a very long story that I'm not going to give with 13 people behind me in line. Um, but needless to say, this is the first step, so I can call Internal Affairs, and then once that has been started, I can have the California Attorney General begin to actually look into the case, because that's really the only way anything's going to get done on that level. Thank <laughs> you. 